Hey guys, it's Twinkle, and I'm back bringing you more of Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap. When we last left off, we were learning how to shrink and become one of the Minish. Wee! So, um, I, like I said, I'm doing this last play pretty blind because I've never played the game before, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's a dungeon coming up and in the event that there is I'm going to record through the whole dungeon and post all the ones. Oops. Well then. I forgot like even the shallowest pools can drown you. Whee! Ugh, guys give me one second. Sorry about that. Anyway, back to back to Minish Cap. We've entered the Minish Village. Yes, yes, well it appear we have. Aw, they look like little gerbils. Okay, so we need to find... Hold on one second, guys. Sorry guys, someone keeps IMing me while I'm trying to record, and it's actually driving me nuts. So let's explore this little maze here. <sighs> Talk to this person. Story. He watches the abbey as well as the shrine to the north. A jabbernut. You should have found one in the barrel house just south of here. Okay, so that'll give us the ability to speak Minish. Hopefully. Wee. And simple block sliding puzzle. Oh, Twink, this must be the Jabbernut. That's great. Uh, so I've had like this terrible Scottish accent stuck in my head all day because we're watching a movie in English that has Sean Connery in it. So like all day I've been like fixated on Sean Connery and it's just been like bleh to everyone around me because they're all like, oh my god, can you stop? It's like, no. That was useless. I'm just kind of going to tootle around the village and see if there's anything I can do yet. Okay, so then I guess I have to go back to him before I can do anything. Do 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 do. Hey, there's a bunch of minish outside of here now. Wonder what they want. That's nice. Yeah. That's great. Okay, back up in here. So, and I've eaten the Jabbernut, yeah. The Elder can help you. Well, where's the Elder? I guess I have to find now where the Elder lurks. Uh. wonder if there's a map. Oh, yeah, I have to apologize. Um, sorry about that. I actually went and got a piece of heart. Because right in the beginning of the game, there's a piece of heart. And I didn't know that. And um, one of my friends ended up telling me about it. So I got that. Oh, here we go. Here's the elder. <laughs> Child. Forge a broken peccary blade. Yeah, we've come here. You'll need four mystic elements. So there are only four dungeons in here? Boom, baby. So according to this, there are only four dungeons. Okay. Mm. 
so I guess we're gonna start the first dungeon in this part. And I'm going to record straight through and divide this into parts until we are finished the dungeon because I really want to get through the first dungeon in one sitting. Oh no, I forgot I was tiny. Crap. Okay, well, into there. I see right over here, this is where that piece of heart was earlier. I just gotta go through here, and here's the dungeon. Meh. Oh. So here we go. Deepwood Shrine, the first dungeon. Okay. Oh, so you can lift these without the power bracelet. Ooh, a heart. Oh, another heart. Good to know you can lift things in this game without the power bracelet. Easy block sliding puzzle. Slugs. Interesting. I also just noticed it's dark in this room. But there's no magic powder or anything, so... Ah, oh, the switches light the torches. And we get a chest! A small key! I have the key, you idiot. Huh, <laughs> I'd hope if I push the open button. Okay, and... Whoa, death from above! Um, yeah, sadly, we can't swim yet. I don't know if we can swim at all. Okay, I can handle that. I don't know if you can actually swim in this game, but, okay. And see these mushrooms? You're supposed to drag these back like that. And fling yourself across. That was pretty cool. Meh slug. Hmm. Yeah. So we go. Oh wait, wait, wait. There's something I had to do out here actually. You gotta go up. I need to go up here. And I burn this bridge here, and that releases half the barrel house. And see these things? I can't really kill them yet. All I can do is make them release a cloud of spores and like this stuff on the ground. All I can do is make it release a puff of spores. What if I go out here? I have more of these spore monsters. And I come up here. And you gotta hold down both switches. So you push Tiki on here. And this. So, I'm sorry I'm really not talkative today, guys. Ah! I took damage. I just- I feel like crap. I'm not even gonna lie. I just, like, feel so blah today. Yes, the barrel just moved, you tard. That's what we want to have happen. Oh no! No, I want to be able to exit the barrel right there. Hey, wait, what's on here? Oh, a door. Well, you can't slide it that way. Or that way. Or that way. Hmm. Ladybug. Oh god, it explodes. Mushroom. Ooh, there's a piece of heart over there, but I don't know how to get to it quite yet. Ah, oh, sweet. Now I've got the dungeon map. That'll be helpful. But I can't fall down over there, it won't let me. Oh ho ho. I get it now. 